In this video, we'll search for an item in a list of strings using a string and not the index that we're trying to search for. So here we've created a list that's got seven months. And now we want to ask the user to enter um, the name of, of the month in the list instead of the index. So that's a bit of a, a variation to what we did in video um, 55 and 56. So we'll uh, store the result or whatever the user is trying to enter into a, a variable called month. And the message would be enter the name. I've got it there. Enter the name of the month in the list. Um, and then after we've captured that in a variable, now we want to check if that month exists in the list. And then based on the result, whether it was found or not, we will let the user know. So what we want to do is we want to loop through the we want to loop through this list. So we can use a while loop and we want to check while while something is you know still less than the length of the months. And that something would be an index that we start from zero. So we'll call it month index. And we'll start from zero and we'll say while, you know, we start from the beginning of the list until the end. So from zero till the end and just so until uh, so seven, but we'll stop at six. Then what we want to do is let's let's find out if that month exists. So if so here we are doing this part. We are checking if it exists in the list. If the month entered or the string entered exists in the list. So they, basically that's what we're doing, the check here. So we will check if the, the months, let's access this list, at that index, Okay, if that equals to an equality to the month that was entered by the user, in this case, we want to let the user know that it was found. So we can use print. And here we'll tell the user that, you know, it was found. And we will say uh, what the month was. So that would be the, I keep spelling months wrong. So the list of the months, we can access the name. You can even just put the entry that the user has entered, which is definitely match a match. So any any of these would work. Okay, so in this case, we're just telling the user that you know the month was found, and the one important thing that we need to do is increment this part. Otherwise, we'll be stuck in an infinite loop. And here we'll just print the end of our program. Let's give this a run and see how it works. So let's try with something valid. Let's start with March and we are stuck in an infinite loop. Sorry, that's because I should put this at this level. Um, in this case, it's only going to increment when it's found. So uh, obviously, if I've put in March, it's not going to be found here. This is not going to be incremented. So we are stuck at this point. So that's why uh, just just don't make that mistake. You want to make sure that the incrementing happens within the level of the while loop, not inside the if function, because that can never happen. And so you're stuck in an infinite loop. Now let's try for March. Said found March. Let's search for something that exists also. So let's start with June and it found June. Now let's look for something that does not exist. So let's go with test. And it only printed end, so nothing within this part was printed. Okay, now the other thing is we want to let the user know if it wasn't found. We don't want it to just say end. So in this case, we can do something. We can have a flag. So let the user know the result. So we can have a flag called found, and we can set it to false. And then what we can do Sorry, false in, in Python is a capital F, so that's a false. And let's just sort of um, 
break this content down. Now what we can do is once it was found in this in this block in this level, we can say found is equal to true. Okay. And then one other thing is what we can do is we can add a condition here. While uh, we can also make use of this this boolean, so not just to tell us tell us to let us know if it was found or not. We can also use it to step out of the loop once it was found, and that will make our loop more efficient, our program more efficient, in the sense is that we don't, so once we found May, for example, there's no point in, in looping further and just consuming um, more um, time to look for things in a list that doesn't, that doesn't exist, because there's only one May. So in this case, unless you've got multiple things and you want to keep on going, that's fine. But in this program, not really. So we're saying with, while it's not found, so or not true, then keep searching. But how do we let the user know the result that it was not found using this boolean? Now, what we can do at the end of the program here, we can say if not found, if that means if not true, if false, we can change this message. So instead of end, we can say um, not found. In this case, we can specify whatever entry they've put in. If you remember this part here, I said you can put whatever you want. So you can, not whatever you meant in the sense, I mean, you can put this part or this part, this variable, because they both equal each other. So it will both work if you've put in, if you've accessed the index of the months list or if you've put in whatever the user has emptied because they both match but at line 21 you can't put the months index because it wasn't found anyway so you want to put in whatever the user has put in now let's loop again and let's try for something that not, does not exist in the list so let's say test and in this case it did tell the user that it was not found it's important that we also try something that's found to make sure that this program works in both cases as expected. So let's go with May and it actually found May. So one last thing that we want to do is to actually keep looping. So let's add one more part to our conditions. So keep looping until found. So until the user enters something that is found. So what changes do we need to make to the program to make this work? Not much. First of all, what we can do is we can um, put this inside the loop. Okay, so that would be uh, somewhere here inside the loop. Uh, right, sorry. Uh, yeah, that would be here. In, in that case, also, we'll need this part to be inside the loop. Otherwise, we'll have an issue with our work. So right after we get our entry, before we get in the while loop. So that's one thing. Now, the other thing is what we can do is we will while not found. Just a minute. Let's just get rid of a few things there. And then we'll indent all of this to go within the while loop. So while not found, we're inside the loop. <clears throat> And then what we need to do is um, we need to change this message. So the first time it runs, we want it to say enter the name of the month. But the next time it's the next time it's not. <clears throat> so let me just um, think about what's going on. Okay, so sorry, this part goes inside here. So that's why it was complaining. <clears throat> the first time we run the loop, we want this message. We don't want it to give an error message. Okay. But the next time we're back in here, it means something went like the entry was not found. We want to change this message. So we don't want to um, kind of um, give the same message for both. So we can put this in a variable called message, this message, and then print that out input and then we'll just send out the message and then over here we can say we can change the value of the message we can say message is equal to um, not found re-enter 
and then we can just put that in the name of the list something like that okay so this way we are just changing the message if it's not found everything else i'm just checking everything else should remain the same and let's give this a run i'm not sure if i've made any mistake so here if you found it it's it's it will end the loop but if it didn't let's say test it will say it wasn't found please re-enter and let's give another invalid entry so whatever is not in the list it will just keep looping until i say for example uh, sorry uh, july and that's it i hope this was helpful to you and i'll see you in the next one